Hey everybody, I've been digging and you know what? I found something else I thought I should show you today. You might be interested in this, but you know, we're all getting older. And every day it's a little harder for me to get out of bed and walk around the yard. And, and I thought, you know, someday I might not be able to do this on my own. So I was thinking, I went in the shop and I saw, I saw a cane. And I thought, you know, I should have a cane in case I, you know, need a little help walking around. And I thought, what am I going to make my cane out of? And then I remember we put in some new stairways. And you know what? I don't know what to call these things, but they go on the stairway. Spindles, I guess you call them stair spindles. Anyway, I went to the local habitat store and I picked some of these up. And boy, you know what? I came up with a cane. I thought, if I use that stair spindle and I turned a little brass end on it and had some, oh, some black paint and, and, and then had an end to put on that thing, you know, what a kind of an end could I put on my cane? Well, I started thinking, and I came up with the, the nicest doorknob that used to be on our bedroom door. And now, I figured a way to epoxy that son of a gun on the end of there, and it really makes a nice, strong cane. Because if I ever drop it, it'll probably shatter. And I thought, well, that's no good. We don't want a broken cane. So then I came up with the idea, a nice brass cane with a long ball on the end. And then I thought, well, there's another doorknob. And then I thought, well, I should fancy that up a little bit. So I took my carving knife and I carved a windspeard on that thing. And wow, a round doorknob and a windspeard, a little epoxy glue, and voila, a little stain and a little brass uh, ferrule on the end down here. Just a piece of plumbing is what it is. And boy, it worked. So then I thought, well, you know, that's just a round, doesn't just look the greatest in the world. So I came up with this idea. You all know the old horse harness, the horse games had brass ends on them. And I thought, wow, if you could put one of those on a cane, you'd have a nice walking stick there. You can make it any size you want. And then I thought, too, you polish it up a little bit. You know, the brass polish is really easy. All it takes is a little steel wool, a little elbow grease. And I thought, you know, the cane should have a little class. So what I did is I, I carved a rattlesnake. I carved a rattlesnake on it. It really drives a lot of people crazy, but it's a two-headed rattlesnake. And again, this is hard wood. It carves hard, but boy, it's, it's stable. If you ever want to put your weight on it, you'd have no problem. And I thought, well, enough of that round stuff. We should have some shape to the, the cane head. So then I thought, you know, I can take another one of these uh, stair spindles. And I found a bookend. I found a bookend, and I saw that it was a duck brass bookend, and it had a duck on it. I took that duck and I sawed him off with my hacksaw, and I fit him to the top of the cane, and then all of a sudden I had a nice handle to hang on to on that cane. Hang on, and for protection, you're walking alone at night, you never know when you're going to need something like this, but I carved that again, I epoxied it on, and there, voila, a cane with a duck head. How about that? Well, you know, you can have a duck head with no one in it. You can have duck head, and these, I got some fancier ones that came off of some, I don't know if it was a bookend or a thing that sits on a, on your nightstand or whatever. I don't know where it came from, but it's going to be a, going to be a cane head someday. And then I, I ran across, a lot of this brass comes out of India in all different kinds of shape, and then I thought, well, for all the bird lovers out there, I should make a cane. And this one, I took a file and filed it down so it's real thin, and it's actually a bird. It looks like a little chicken or something on there, I don't know, but it's heavy. So that one was hollow, and I was wondering, how can I fasten that? Why, the whole thing was hollow. So what I did, I filled it up with body putty. Oh, Bondo. Bondo works on everything. I filled that thing with Bondo and stuck that cane in there. I don't think it'll ever come off. It's solid as a rock of Gibraltar. So, I just thought you might be interested in my canes. So, I'm going to keep digging. And when I find something again, I'll give you another shake on the cage and we'll look at some more good stuff. See you then.